Hello and welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create realistic looking Saturn planet in Blender. So without any further ado, let's get straight into this tutorial. Now we are going to create planet, press X to delete default cube and add icosphere. This little drop down here click it and subdivisions to 5. Shade smooth. Now split the window and go over to the shader editor select your sphere and give it a new material from here if you have node wrangler add-on enabled under preferences type in node Enable it and save preferences. Now select your principal BSDF, press Ctrl T, it will add a mapping, texture coordinate and image texture. Now I will give the link in the description for the texture that I am going to use so you can follow along with me. As you can see it is not looking perfect because it's using UV coordinates. So change it to object coordinates. Now it looks good. Rotate it 80 degrees on X axis. Like this. And plug the color into the roughness too. So it will look very very good. And at last add a bump, plug that normal into the normal of the principal shader and plug the color into the height. The strength is way too high so let's just decrease it a bit like so. So we have done it, now I am going to create rings for it shift a add a circle s to scale it about right here then go into the edit mode by pressing tab and press e right click to cancel it and s to scale it like so Press A to select all of them, press E, extrude it a little bit on Z axis. Like so. Now we have to create rocks to place all over this area of the ring. So hide all of them, uh, ring and planet by pressing H and add a cube for now I'm just going to give it a material add a bump plug that normal into the normal and add a noise texture plug the color into the height so now we have a really good looking material for our rocks let me just bring the strength about 0.7 and scale to about 4 that's it for now and now i'm going to add a subdivision surface modifier viewport subdivision to 4 and render to 4 also Now add a, a displace modifier and click new under coordinates from local to global and click that little icon here and go over to the texture tab and change the texture to Voronoi. Now this is looking weird right now so we will fix it in a bit. Select your cube 
as to scale this will give it really nice rock look now shift D to duplicate it and we have set the coordinates to global so if we move it changes with it like so and now we need 12 different variations of the rocks so I will be fast forwarding this video like so now we have 12 of them select all of them and uh, press M and move them to the new rock collection now all of them are in rock collection hide all of the rocks now and uh, unhide the rings and our planet now select your ring and go all the way over to the particles tab give it a new hair particle system and click on hair advanced go all the way over to renders and change the render as to collection uh, in which uh, our rocks are so here we have the rocks for our planet now object rotation and also check the random scale randomness to 0.6 like so now go into the edit mode and just select these two vertices by selecting alt click to select one and alt plus shift to select another at the same time now as to scale them a little bit more further away like so now we have everything's done to make our ring invisible and the rocks visible we have to go to the uh, shader editor right here select your ring and give it a new material and Plug the principal BSDF to the volume, not to the surface. Like so. In render, this is uh, not visible. We can't see our mesh, but we can see the rocks. So now I'm going to add an HDRI. I'm using Pro Lighting Skies Ultimate from blender group change it to space and also give it a uh, this one find the place that you like for your camera to be I like this one adding a camera into your scene and pressing ctrl alt 0 on the numpad it will snap the camera to view like so and now you can press G to move it in like so Or you can just go over to the view Lock camera to view Camera to view right above here that's good 
and then we have to change the sun value of the HDR to 3 and sky to 3 now we have to add light just unlock the camera select the point lamp right from here press G to move it at the back side of our planet and shift D to duplicate it and press alt G to clear the location to the default one and press G X and move it right further away and then go to the light settings and change it to 500,000 watts like so you have to decrease it maybe to 2 yes that's good now our, uh, we have to move our HDRI kind of good position right here so now we have done everything select your ring and go over to the particles tab change the particles uh, number to about 2000 and change the scale like so And then go to the modifiers and convert. Rocks are now a single mesh. As you can see here we have 2000 rocks in our scene. Now press M move them to applied rocks collection. Like so and delete the all rocks that we have created earlier press X delete it will take a time to calculate now we have everything ready to render out now you have to change the, some settings from here color management high contrast very high contrast output tab everything's okay i'm going to render it in 4k so let's just let's change the h to 4k now you have to save your project file before rendering it so save save as Saturn or whatever you want to and then click render image Now before you render it out you must have to you know Rotate all of these rocks. So now I'm just pressing delete the object and selecting the applied rocks all of the applied rocks And uh, from my camera view I'm going to rotate it on 8 on 8 degrees from my camera view like so it's a bit laggy because there is about 3 million vertices to work on now we have done it let's press render real quick if you want to get this project file you can follow the links in the description below to purchase it and there we go we have made a realistic looking planet in blender so if you have any questions let me know in the comment section below like the video subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching see you in the next video bye bye